Day 444, 22 for 22. Good morning. Hope this finds you well. Please stay in your fight and don't quit. All right, so I am, since I embarked on this journey over 444 days ago, we have crossed the 10,000 soldier mark, or 10,000 veteran mark, whether active duty or not, uh, uh, that have killed themselves. That number is unacceptable. <sighs> There's not a lot of good things I can say about that, I guess, other than I'm glad it's not higher. But it very well could be higher than 22 a day. Could be as high as 40, could be as low as 12 a day. But the average is approximately 22. We've got to stop that. How do we do it? Um, outreach is good, but it's also got to come from the person that's sitting on the, on the cliff. It can't just be everybody patting somebody on the shoulder because not everybody is going to say that they're in trouble. I'm going to just say, yeah, I'm okay. And they're really not. Inside's a roiling turmoil of freaking pain and hate. And the hate's usually directed at themselves. Um, I've been seeing a bunch lately uh, of people actually reaching out and getting some help but we're not catching them all and I don't think we will catch them all because a lot of people are private a lot of people don't want to be helped you know and statistically speaking I don't think we can ever get the number to zero I've said that before um, a lot of people you know the, the, the complexity of the issue is mind-boggling it can be everything from sexual trauma to what you saw in Iraq or Afghanistan um, could be loss of a family, loss of a career, loss of health, loss of whatever that is traumatic, um, losing a child. Um, there's just so many different variables that you can't simply just say, well, if we fix this, the, the problem is solved because it's not that simple. The human condition will not allow for that. Um, <clears throat> I know we can spend a lot of time saying, what if I had done this, would so-and-so still be alive? If I had done this, would my marriage still be intact? If I had done this, all right, you can what if it to death and nothing's going to change. It is what you do from today forward that fucking counts. Um, another thing is medicine. If you have gone to the VA or whatever, uh, whatever uh, place that you've been able to go, and they put you on medicine and it doesn't fix it and it doesn't abate the problem, then that's not the fix. That's not, you're being treated, but you're not being treated. You are being medicated. Um, and you need to fight for that because I've read and I've seen where these medicines, and actually taking one of my own, that was supposed to be something that was supposed to reduce anxiety and reduce, uh, reduce the mental issues. Nah, it multiplied it on the inside and I couldn't let it out and it damn near got me. Um, so if your medicine is not working for you, then you need to keep pushing and find something else that works. If you have to, try holistic or something. I don't know. But don't stop till you find something that works for you. All right. Um, this subject sucks. It's a rough subject to always to always be talking about. And to see what I, to see what I'm seeing in the in the in in these groups of people rushing in to save people. It is awesome. But the thing is, is we're missing people, and it's partially because of those people sitting on the edge of the cliff looking into the abyss and thinking the abyss looks great, and then deciding to go. And we have to stop that. If you are sitting on the edge of that cliff looking into the abyss, and you think that abyss is beautiful, it is not. It may end pain, but it creates more. You need to make a decision to live and get a life that you can enjoy write the next chapter the way you want to see it and do what you can to make it so all right let me rephrase that 
write the rest of the book the way you want it to be written, not the way it was written. You can have the tragedy and everything that happened before. And yeah, I'm simplifying this. You can have every, the, the whole struggle of the whole book up into this chapter and have it be a freaking horror story. But you can change that book by one, what you got going on up here. Positive mental attitude can help. It ain't going to fix it, but it'll help. And then work, work tirelessly to find the solution that works for you. Not the cookie cutter solution of the VA or any other organization that's trying to help. You have to figure out what works for you. Not what they say works for you. You have to find what works for you. So anyway, time to do some push-ups and a bit of a rant, sorry. But it all ends up in the same place. We have people sitting on the edge of the cliff. In an unacceptable amount. <clears throat> Excuse me. One for the airborne ranger in the sky. One for the infantry. One for the fallen. Stay in the fight. Don't quit. You got this. I have a YouTube channel if you need the reaffirmations that I give every day. And that's what they're there for, is to help motivate you to stay here on this planet, on this plane. The YouTube channel is uh, that underscore push up under uh, underscore guy space tough. <clears throat> Damn. And there's plenty of content there to check out. Something for everybody, so to speak. I hit on a lot of subjects and I'm hoping that they continue to help and they continue to keep people here. All right, bottom line, suicide is not the solution. Do not choose suicide as a permanent solution to a temporary or permanent problem. You got this. Be here tomorrow. Tough out.